Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. Look at this study from Harvard. Take a look at this. Uh, I came across it in an article from the Foundation for Economic Education. New Harvard data accidentally reveal how lockdowns crush the working class while leaving elites unscathed. That's a good headline, but I want to make sure you know they're not talking about the billionaire class when they say elites. They're just talking about sort of average well-to-do, the professional class, upper middle class kind of thing. Not zillionaires, not one percenters. Let me read a bit. A new data analysis from Harvard University, Brown University, and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation calculates how different employment levels have been impacted during the pandemic to date. The findings reveal that government lockdown orders devastated workers at the bottom of the financial food chain, but left the upper tier actually better off. The analysis examined employment levels in January 2020, before the coronavirus spread widely, and before lockdown orders and other restrictions on the economy were implemented. It compared them to employment figures from March 31st, 2021. The picture painted by this comparison is one of working class destruction. So this is Harvard and the Bill and Melinda Gates, for heaven's sakes. But here's what they found. Employment for lower wage workers, defined as earning less than $27,000 annually, declined by a whopping 23.6% over the time period. Employment for middle wage workers, defined as earning from $27,000 to $60,000 a year, declined by a modest 4.5%. However, employment for high wage workers, defined as earning more than $60,000 a year, actually increased 2.4% over the measured time period, despite the country's economic turmoil. So that's a summary of it. Here's the study itself. This is the Harvard website, tracktherecovery.org. Look at the graph on the left. Recession has nearly ended for high wage workers, but job losses persist for low wage workers. While employment rates have rebounded to pre-COVID-19 levels for high wage workers, they remain significantly lower for low wage workers. And you can see the graphs. More than 60 grand a year, so we're not even talking about one percenters here. There's a boom on for those folks. They're fine now. Bad year, but they're through it and back to normal. That's the green graph. It's actually up a little bit, 2.4%. But what about the poor? Folks making less than 27 grand a year. Those jobs are slaughtered. We're talking Great Depression stuff. Number of working class jobs down 24%. Makes sense. If you're a lawyer, you just work from home. If you're a government sector union, you probably didn't even work for the first six months, but you still got paid. If you're a politician, well, in Canada, our MPs and senators gave themselves two raises, last April and this April. So you're loving life. Government has grown this past year, in case you didn't notice. But if you're a waiter, a waitress, a bartender, a retail shop clerk, a mom and pop shop of any sort, a barber, a hairstylist, tough luck. Now, this is an American study, but really it's the same in Canada, but worse, I would imagine, since our lockdowns up here are worse than any in America. Seriously, the lightest Canadian lockdown is heavier than the heaviest American lockdown. Let me show you the graph on the right here. Low income employment down in affluent areas. Declines in high income spending led to significant employment losses among low income individuals working in the most affluent zip codes in the country, as shown in the map below of employment declines in early June in New York City. That's another way of saying if you're in the service sector, a helper-outer, an odd jobber, tough luck for you. Landscaping, construction, housekeeping, do your work by Zoom. Yeah, no, it doesn't work that way. Now, if you click the button that says explore the data, you can see some more details. On the right, the three graph lines. You can see middle-class jobs that are still down 4.5%, and what's worrying is that those trends are still declining in 2021. It's actually getting worse in America. And look at the left, a little image showing all 50 states. Hover the mouse over some of them. California, the biggest state in the union, one of the worst lockdowns. Look at that, down 38.3% in working class employment. How is that even possible? More than one in three working class jobs is gone. Still gone. In Massachusetts, it's 51%. More than half the working class jobs in that state are gone. Texas is down a bit. Florida is actually growing. And you know what's making all this worse? That is, if, if you're a low-income, blue-collar worker? Open borders. Under Biden, hundreds of thousands of low-skill, off-the-books workers are streaming in from Mexico. It's because Biden and Kamala Harris have just opened up the southern border, just stopped building 
Trump's wall stop enforcing the law. Here in Canada, we don't overwhelm our low-income workers with illegal migrants. I mean, Roxham Road is still open, but it's not hundreds of thousands through there. No, we invite in low-skill, low-income competitors legally. Seriously, record immigration numbers planned in the middle of the Great Depression. Record numbers and record numbers of low-skill or no-skill workers to drive down the cheapest wages. Housing prices in Canada have never been higher. Well, let's add a million people to that. Inflation is back. Unemployment is still high. It's been devastating for the working class. And here come a million new migrants. And you're a racist if you object to those economics. Yeah, it's not the virus I'm scared of. That's an excerpt from my daily show, The Ezra Levant Show. Every day I do a monologue on the news of the day, then I interview an interesting guest, and then I read my hate mail. You gotta subscribe. Go to rebelnews.com.